It can be really hard to get engagement in GIS. I have been there myself, but right now you need to be trying more than ever because there is Esri GIS everywhere. It's on the news, it's being used by every government, it's being used by nearly every business to make decisions. So if you're having trouble pitching GIS, I want you to stay tuned because I've got a bunch of tips for you. Hi everybody, I'm Katie Scheuer and um, welcome to my bedroom. <laughs> so as you guys I'm sure are adapting to the times, um, I am trying to get these videos out as well. Um, but with all the kids home, this was the quietest place I could find. So I'm glad you're here. <laughs> um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about taking advantage of this opportunity to push GIS in your organization because here's the thing, it is everywhere. We are all using data science to make decisions and even our government in the US is using data-driven decisions to determine when we should go back to work or when we should be able to leave our homes. So if you are having trouble pitching GIS or getting that engagement that you really, really want to have, you need to start using the examples that are going on now to show what you can do. And sometimes it takes that person from outside of the company coming in to really help highlight all of the possibilities that are out there. So if you um, are getting value out of this video, please hit subscribe and come back. I've got a bunch of videos coming up and I'm really trying to get a course set up for you guys as quickly as possible. It'll probably still be a few months, but um, it's going to be a storytelling with data course and I'm really excited about it. So make sure you hit subscribe, like this video because it helps me get this information out to everybody. So the first thing that you want to do is really just get management talking. It doesn't have to be about GIS and it probably is even better if it's not. So start asking them questions about just projects they have going on. See what budget dollars are available. Um, see what information that they might be lacking. Ask them what issues they're having, what decisions they're having trouble making and find a way to sneak a GIS solution in there. And sometimes it's just as simple as doing project management. Um, if you have a big project that is very graphical, make sure that you're inserting and managing that project in GIS. Um, if you're doing data collection within that project, go ahead and make a polygon around your data capture areas as they change and use that polygon to manage the project. It works really well. Um, so look at doing something like that. Look at ways of if they've got a big budget amount that they can spend in a particular area. See if you have data that you can analyze to tell them what's the best way to spend that money. Um, if it's on aging infrastructure or something like that, you can get that information or if you can't get that information, use it a way to say, hey, if we had this information in our database, if we were tracking this, if we were doing inspections and logging this information, I would be able to give you insight on how to justify spending a million dollars on infrastructure investment or you know, redoing this road or redoing this pipe or upgrading you know, our um, distribution systems in this area versus this area. So have those projects kind of in the back of your mind while you're talking to them and see where you can insert data to help make their decisions better. So once you've figured out something that you can help with, I want you to go back to your desk, figure out a solution, but figure out something that is super sleek, super easy, and is one of those things that has a huge payoff for them but doesn't necessarily take a lot of work for you to do. And the reason I want you to kind of approach it this way is because sometimes the most simplistic things that we can do make the biggest impact to other people that don't know a lot about GIS. And you wanna make it really easy for them to use. So either they don't have to click a button at all, 
or if you're going to have them be able to filter things out, make it a one button click. Do not make them go into the filter settings and set up their own query and set up their own definitions. It's too much work. They're not going to like using it and they're going to shy away from asking for help for other things. So make it really simple, really easy to use and very accessible for them. Um, that way they're going to get engaged into your data and they're going to really want to use your information going forward. Now, if you're a bigger organization and you have a ton of data and you're just having a really hard time getting that upper level suite to take advantage of your information, I want you to check out this video where I talked with Miguel from Map Idea, and he has an amazing project that he's working on and he the way he has everything designed it lures you into the information you actually want to play with it because it's just it's so beautiful and it's so easy to use and very intuitive um, that i really think there's a lot of value there so check that out if you have a lot of data but if you don't then stick to the customized stuff that you can do right now so after you've given them something to play around with and after you've given them a, a win something that they're interested in that kind of whets their appetite make sure you keep repeating this process and maybe even at this point you can set up a reoccurring meeting once a month just a half hour keep it quick but just so you can get kind of on their radar as a person that can provide solutions to them now one thing that i've come across is sometimes the first person and even your boss that you first approach to this is not going to be interested <laughs> they don't have the time they don't have the energy to devote helping you get this up and going and that's okay move on to a different department head because the people that sometimes shun you off are the ones that you know need your work the most but they might not be interested until they see the nice shiny new application that you made for somebody else and then they're like "Ooh, hey i want that you did that for somebody else and i want that why don't you do it for me and you're like i i asked you about it like three months ago and you said no <laughs> but so keep that open mind and just keep working on different people look at different departments and cross promote yourself you know if you do a good project and somebody's really excited about it ask them to share it at a department meeting ask them to share it at a um a management staff meeting or something like that so that way you're not the only person that's talking about the work that you're doing so one last thing that i want you guys to keep in mind is that you need to say no and I know we're trying to get people involved and you're trying to get that engagement. You're trying to get people to use your information, but you need to learn how to say no because they are going to come up with ideas that you just, it's just not a fit for you, that you just, you shouldn't be doing. It's not that you can't do it, but you shouldn't be doing it because you know it's gonna compromise the integrity of your system or it's going to take a lot of work and time that you don't have to maintain it. Um, or it's just something where GIS isn't the best application for because uh, let's face it, there's some projects out there and there's some things out there where GIS just isn't the right thing. But so you need to be the one that's filtering out those ideas and make sure that you tell them like, hey, I'm so glad you came to me with that, but it's just not something that's going to work out the best for me and my fit. But maybe we can do something else. Maybe you can do something on a, a Google Drive or something like that and get them set up with something else or set up with a different department to help them out. Because if you at least help them get to a solution or explain to them why GIS is not a fit, they will come back to you again with the next idea and that's what you want. You want them to be engaged enough that they start thinking about GIS as the solution to be. So I hope that helped you guys. Um, I hope you guys are dealing with quarantine well. <laughs> and leave me a comment down below about any of the troubles that you've had with management and how you've troubleshoot that or how you've gotten people engaged and gotten them excited about GIS. I would love to hear your experience and you can never know who you're going to help. So I'll, I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Bye.